G'day, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan. This is Tanya. Hi. Yes, we're getting into another episode of Friends. This one is episode eight, season eight. The one with the stripper. The one with the stripper. Mm-hmm. I wonder if this is involving Gio. We're making a lot of presumptions here. Yeah. Hmm. Is that bad? No. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into it. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy today's episode. Let us know in the comment section down below if you do. And if you want to go check this out and full head over to Kofi and Patreon, all the links will be down in the description down below. It's the best way to support us each and every single month is over there. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that Kofi's tiers are currently open for your requested movie. All right, let's do it. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Come on. Real loss. Having dinner with my dad tomorrow night. Do you want to come? Sure. Yeah, he's kind of sexy. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'll be there, too. So we'll just come up with some kind of signal. If it's going well, you can take off. <laughs> See, I haven't told him that I'm pregnant yet. Because I know he's going to flip out, and I hate it when he gets angry. This is also Papa Don't Preach. <laughs> If you ever saw me doing that again, he would make me eat the entire pack. Wow, well, well, I will. Gosh, I'm not going to let that man make you eat your baby. (laughs) Who is that guy? I think I know him. Monica, he's the stripper from your bachelorette party. Ah, sorry, Joey. Her what? She untied his G-string with her teeth. (laughs) We agreed that it was a silly tradition. It's a grand tradition. They surprised me. There was nothing I could do. Oh, we got was a stupid steak dinner. You went home with the waitress. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good night. I knew giving you that book was going to come back and bite me in the ass. <laughs> uh. oh, I, I don't eat meat. It's chicken. Yeah, I don't eat that either. I don't understand you lesbians. <laughs> So, baby, tell me. You're 74 Lafitte, sir. 74? I ordered the 75. Are you an idiot? Is that why you're a waiter? Come on, don't be such a baby. In case you didn't notice, that is a scary man. The 74 is absolute piss. I wait a couple of years, and then the baby will tell him. That is the baby's problem. (laughs) That's funny. You were starting to tell me what is uh, what is new with you. I got TiVo. What's TiVo? It's slang for pregnant. <laughs> Are you really pregnant? So to sum it up, yeah. <laughs> Who is the father? Please don't tell me it's her. <laughs> it's Ross. You like Ross? <laughs> You're gonna be a poppy. That's true. (laughs) So when is the wedding? Uh, The who? There's going to be a wedding. Tell me there's going to be a wedding. February 2nd. So it was really cool seeing you lecture today. Oh, thanks. It's going to be awkward as hell. I had my eyes closed so I could concentrate and, you know, take it all in. That's what I used to say. (laughs) A lot of my students do that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Dylan too. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, thanks again for showing me your semi-precious stone collection. My God, you must be good in bed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you and Mona. It's been a while now. How's it going? Huh? Well, I I was going to say sweet, but yeah, huh? (laughs) Yeah. She's okay with Rachel and the baby? (laughs) Well, I I haven't actually told her yet. Otherwise, you may think that you're going down the same path. I'm going to take that book, and I'm going to beat you to death with it. (laughs) (laughs) Tonight... You're going to have a bachelor party, and I hired a stripper to come dance for you. <laughs> Am I going in the White Hall of Fame or what? Then I don't want you to get me a stripper. Will you let the lady talk? <laughs> <laughs> Fun. It'll make me feel so much better. It's a little creepy, you know. I'm not a bachelor anymore. But two months is lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's up. Fine, but I'm only doing this for you. Yeah. <laughs> and Joey. <laughs> Thank you. More Joey. Ross, Ross and Joey is embarrassing enough. I'm seeing Mona again tonight. I understand. I'm sorry, I gotta cancel tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Joey will. Uh, Joey will cancel anything to see boobies. <laughs> baptism and a leprechaun bar mitzvah. I think Joey will even miss his own dead mum's <laughs> hey, oh yeah, funeral yeah. to see boobies. <laughs> oh yeah. Anything. Panic. I didn't want him to start yelling at me like I was some. It's Lafitte. <laughs> the 74 Latour is actually drinking quite nicely. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna be strong. I think I may be able to book the plaza on short notice. Really? <laughs> Christ. 
Ross and I are not getting what? married. I'm sorry, Daddy. Stay calm. How do you expect me to stay calm? That's it. Is that it? Yes, yes. He says I'm damaged goods. <laughs> All right, so. Oh. <laughs> So, are you uh, nervous about getting married? <laughs> Look, let's pretend it's a real bachelor party, okay? You know, I can't believe tomorrow's the big day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna have to wake up to the same face every day. No one told me about yeah, this. This is more fun. No one told me about this. Was this written in a book? Yeah. Was this written in a book? Taylor's book. <laughs> Didn't you read it? I definitely did it. Hi. 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 <laughs> so, which one of you lucky boys is Chandler? No, that's me. <laughs> Joey Triviani. Big fan. So, is that a bedroom? All right, whenever you're ready. That was weird. Is this a stripper or? Why she go in the bedroom? I'm waiting. <laughs> Joey walks in there too. That's one naked hooker. Joey walks in there first. That's hilarious. Uh, that's an 18th century Indian artifact from Calcutta. You're more than just dinosaurs. Rachel, dad, knock at the door. Oh, no. Rachel's dad. You think you can knock up my daughter and then not marry her? You know, this is actually not a great time for me. <laughs> Explain yourself, Geller. You got Rachel pregnant? Who did? You did! Yes. <laughs> it's just a one-night thing. It meant nothing. Care, I, I love Rachel. What? Oh, but not that way. I mean... <laughs> hey, I offered to marry her. What? But I didn't want to. <laughs> so you could spend your time with this tramp? Dr. Green, Mona, Mona, Dr. Green. <laughs> I can't believe there is... <laughs> Embarrassing. She's a hooker and a stripper. Ross, Ross, but she got Ross confused about what she's end. supposed to do. Could be. I mean, technically, she did strip. We just, we just missed it. <laughs> Are you also a stripper? Uh, no. And cause spanking. Not Emma. <laughs> Maybe Monica's playing a joke on you. Maybe for my birthday, she'll murder someone. <laughs> I bet Ross was in on it too. Yeah, go ahead. We're gonna have to burn that room down anyway. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but... But what? Nor are we still together. Thanks. Whoever, whoever it was. Why don't we just let the machine get that? There's a hooker over here, and we thought maybe you'd know something about it. Bloody. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I need to lie down. For <laughs> The most awful time to call. What the hell, Joey? Yeah. Find your husband a hooker? She's a stripper. No, she's a hooker. Is, is that what they call strippers sometimes? Oh my god. <laughs> she's just the best, most expensive date I ever had. <laughs> Maybe she meant to get you a hooker. Why would she do that? Maybe she wants you to learn something. <laughs> this is the worst bachelor party ever. <laughs> All right, rock, paper, scissors, who has to tell the whore to leave? <laughs> I missed this. I don't think we've actually done this before. <laughs> no, I, I miss hanging out with you. Remember, you and me used to be inseparable. Things are different. I'm, I'm married now. Hanging out, just, just us, you know? I'll tell you what, for now on, we'll make time to hang out with each other. Listen, I am this close to robbing you guys. <laughs> she's a hooker, she's a... <laughs> uh, we spoke on the phone? <laughs> So your dad dropped by. He's a pleasant man. Oh no. I better go. He's gonna sit and watch. <laughs> Just Amazing. over here. I don't want to miss the fight. Yeah. Okay, I, I promise I will straighten this out with him tomorrow. I don't care about your dad. I care about Mona. I'll fix this. I swear I'll 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 talk to her. Come on! We were on a break. Now we weren't. What happened to you two? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back over. Yeah, and I was worried that it was going to be uncomfortable. <laughs> no, Mona, just to hear me out. But I heard that you totally held your own. You're going to have to tell me how you did that. Focus. Okay. And yes, we are going to have a baby. Definitely not getting back together. How can I be sure of that? I mean, he was possessive. He was jealous. He could never just let the little things go. <laughs> 
thoughtful he is. Probably shouldn't touch me. <laughs> well, we all have our baggage. Why else would you still be single? <laughs> I'm so gonna leave right now. Yeah. Awkward as hell. Did I leave this open for you too? Why didn't you just tell me about all this? I thought it was better that you heard it from Rachel's father. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only because I really, really like you. I guess you can close the door now. We're gonna make perps. You guys made up. <laughs> He's a good kisser, isn't he? <laughs> Maybe you should have put the lock on there. <laughs> smoking here her aspirin is still on your grandmother's quilt do you really want to talk about smoking you know what and you're gonna get a strip carry on joey's still here <laughs> that's me i think i'll take them off <laughs> could you not narrate <laughs> oh you told your dad the truth about an hour ago bye dad <laughs> Of your decision. Hey, I do too think about the consequences of my decisions. <laughs> Go to hell! <laughs> Stupid guy on my phone. That's <laughs> <laughs> Joey in a nutshell. That's <laughs> Joey right there. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is Joey in a nutshell. <laughs> It was a stupid man on his phone. It was a stupid man on his phone. Exactly. I mean, and then he goes and grabs a beer and is like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, I was actually surprised that uh, Joey didn't do anything with the hooker. Yeah. I was very surprised. He was, was very, very surprised. With Joey. He was respecting Chandler's bachelorette party. Exactly. He was very respectful. Lucky he didn't walk in a few few moments later, minutes later, afterwards, where uh, Monica was doing a, uh, let's just say, awkward show. <laughs> definitely, she threw that shoe, broke some, and then she went and cleaned it <laughs> as soon as the camera cut. I was like, come on, she would stop the stripping, and yeah. she would go clean, and then she would continue. Okay, well, where were we? Yeah. <laughs> and the channel would probably be asleep. <laughs> and that's a good trick, too. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. No, you're not getting as angry now. I don't, I don't really care. You do. Ah, it's all good. All he good. likes Fred. No, not he really. He likes Fred. You do. I'm you still do watching do. it because you're you watching do. it. That's you do like basically it. it. Come on, say it. You and like also, it. there's like 120 people that watch it over on Patreon with all the stats on there. Just admit it. Plus. You like it. You like Fred. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. There you it's go. all right. It's all right. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know in the comment section if you enjoy it, like I said, and go check this out on full over on Patreon and Kofi as well. All the links will be down there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. I'll speak to you in the next episode tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Come and keep chasing. I got all this potential that's deep inside of me. But they hate when you're successful because they try to be. They sit there being just mental because you're trying things. And they just want you to settle and do the right thing. So get a good job, don't slack off.